Hello all, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy Part 2. Now, uh, we are just going to finish this tutorial and then select our house and then we'll end the video there, alright? So let's begin. Wow, look at this. Because I don't think I can actually save yet, that's why I can't exactly... I want to save before I fucking do anything else. above that basin that is no mere basin that is a pensive for viewing memories I wonder follow my lead All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Oh. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Hmm. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. No nice shit. I don't know. But sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever gonna visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist... I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. Oh shit. Ross. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Jesus.
Holy dolly. This thing. Jesus. Let's go. Oh. 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 Are you all right? Fine. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. Kinky. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Right. This is a good game. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, as well as I'm getting fucking hungry. Hogwarts. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy, everyone. And there we go. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Perfect, thank you. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Right away. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, <laughs> Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Believe it or not, the voice actor for <clears throat> Nigel's back is actually the guy who Sean from Shaun of the Dead. He's the guy. He's got the actor's fucking hilarious. I love the bastard. Me and my friend Bo, we love that bastard so much. We love watching the... Oh, it's the director of Gnome. Professor the director Weasley. of Mr. Fox, it's Fantastic Mr. Fox. Mm. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Thank you, bitch. <laughs> booga, booga, booga. A bit older than the others, aren't you? 
You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Just solving to us, I'll turn you into a leather bag. Instead of a hat. Mm, I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? Me turning you into a new s skin for a new animal. Uh, what's the one for Gryffindor? Daring Sense I think? adventure. I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart, exceptionally daring, undaunted by the unknown, willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Yes. Better be Gryffindor. Thank you. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. That means piss off. <laughs> Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Thank you. I want to see the Grand Staircase, by the way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Thank you, fat lady. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Okay. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. I Sleep will. Well. We're awake! All right, so this is where the game really begins. Welcome. Like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Welcome to the Gryffindor. Well, Wizard Dormitories, I think. Yeah. So what we're going to do first is save. Now, is there a way? Oh, cool. So each save has its own well save section slots. Right. One thing I want to know. Oh, I can't. No, I can't access the inventory yet. Not yet. Besides, we gotta get a wand yet, anyway. Oh my god. Am I going down or. No. 
Come on. How do I enter that, uh, over there? Maybe I go up. Now, which way is the common room? Here we are. It is tempting to go up one more flight, but we won't worry about that. Shut up, I said. Oh, what did I do wrong this time? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non verbally. Why is this not working? Oh! Calm down. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. Run away, four hours. Is it really that difficult to cast non verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. Uh, oh, shit. He was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Right. I wish you luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Thanks, now fuck off. <laughs> Alright, who else we got? Don't fall off this time, Nelly. It'll be the next butterbeer. Sure you don't want to Hey, it's a Weasley. Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, and he got eaten. A friend of Professor Figg's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. You must be able to get away with anything. <laughs> the opposite, actually. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. <laughs> Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. How do I put my wand away? Yeah. Oh, there we go. I guess she just puts it away automatically. How the fuck did you get up there? Right. Get down. She gets bolder every year. 
How do I? Oh, I'm gonna miss these guys. Jesus! <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels hmm. fast at Hogwarts. So do Wales. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm. It's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you. Oh around. yes, I have you quite the appetite, appetite for you, uh, for me. <laughs> well, you never know. Bye for now. Fuck off. New Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Thank you. Fuck off. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've yes. been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially okay. as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, nice book. Here you are. Okay, all the pages find way. That doesn't matter. I'm sure I'll find them. field guide it will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year you would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource thank you professor but what do you mean it will keep track of what i'm learning perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have Work right. with me, and we shall put it to the test. This way. How do I open it? The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Hats and warm. Potions is dull and charms is dire. I Hats certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. <laughs> Simply cast Revelio on it. And Revelio. Okay. This portrait depicts the wizard Barofio, famed for his brain elixir and an example of what happens when incantations probably 
on spoken. He once said S instead of I or oh, N F, and he found himself on the floor with the buffalo on his chest. Right. Okay. Oh, that's how you open it. One thing I do want to do, um, inventory. Sorry, what was it? Gear! That's what I was after. Uh -huh. Hey! Hey, boy. Um, you can try to smogify, can't you? Hey, that's what I've been looking for. Change appearance, there we go. Ah, oh, it's the only one I got. Well, let's take that off. Oh, it's got no magical property as well. Let's take that off then. No magical properties, take that off. Take that off then. <clears throat> Wait, what? I'll go that one. Um, hold on. Yeah. I think. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I want to put the wand away, Weasley. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Rebellion. Not much here. I can't cast Incendio yet, so. Ah, good time. Oh wait, can I cast it now? Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh, okay, Your right. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Right, right. Okay. Well, this is pretty good so far. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always Rebellion. something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. All right. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. 
You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might right. I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Thank and you. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Right. Well, I hate to be a pain, but... Uh, wait, what, what's this here? Um... I'm hearing a chink or something. Let's not fuck that up. Right, so I'm actually going to save here. So, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Farewell for now, initiates. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't get that. I need Accio, I think. Well, see you all later, alright? Take care, alright, everyone? Bye-bye.